सो गुड आफ्टरनून स्टूडेंट्स लेट एस स्टार्ट केमिस्ट्री ऑफ अमेना एसिड्स एंड प्रोटीन्स सो इन यूअर सिलेबस देर इज ओनली क्लासिफिकेशन एंड फंक्शंस ऑफ अमेनो एसिड्स एंड प्रोटीन नाउ लेट एस सी वट इज द डिफरेंस बिटवीन अमेनो एसिड एंड प्रोटीन प्रोटीन्स आर मेडअप ऑफ अमेनो एसिड्स सो वट आर अमेनो एसिड्स अमेनो एसिड्स आर कंपाउंड्स Uh, having both amino group and carboxylic group okay so today's class i discussion more uh, compared to uh, less slides because introduction i don't want to give more slides some of the aspects you already knows okay so amino acids contains nh2 group that is amino group and carboxylic group what is a carboxylic group cooh so they are compounds having amino group nh2 and carboxylic cooh group so amino acids are building blocks of proteins okay amino acids are building blocks of peptides and proteins so these pep amino acids these peptides and proteins contains amino acid bounded by peptide bonds so what are what are peptides and proteins peptides and proteins are polymers of amino acids bounded by peptide bond so like glycosidic bond you seen in carbohydrate peptide bond is the is uh, responsible for the formation of peptides and polypeptide it is the peptide bond is formed between two amino acid okay so it is formed between carboxylic group of first amino acid it is formed between carboxylic group of first amino acid and an amino group of next amino acid so peptide bond so amino acids are linked by peptide bond in polypeptide that is in protein okay now you know what is amino acid and proteins so general classification of structure of amino acid we will see classification of amino acid separately we will see the protein first so you know that what is protein and amino acid so this is the general representation of structure of standard amino acid so there is nh2 group left and right cooh and r is the only group changes variable means it changes okay what is there is like in box is alpha okay it is not shown there it is alpha carbon what is shown in box like it is alpha carbon so nh2 ch cooh r this is general formula for amino acid so r is the the variable group so amino acid differ from each other only at r group okay they differ only at r group so like uh, monosaccharide except glycine carbon is asymmetric therefore except glycine all other exhibit dl stereo isomerism so they are optically active all standard amino acid belong to l series of stereo isomers so i don't want to go detail because it is not there in syllabus so you should know that they exhibit dl stereo isomerism so if you see properties of amino acid it contains asymmetric carbon okay asymmetric means it attach to four different group that is asymmetric but not in glycine except glycine they are optically active because of the presence of chiral carbon or asymmetric carbon asymmetric carbon means different groups attached at four sides okay so so proper uh, this uh, asymmetric carbon because of that there is optical activity ability to rotate the plane polarized light either right or left dextro 
or levo all amino acid are optically active except glycine okay except glycine now let us go for uh, uh, functions of proteins first our uh, proteins are classified based on the how uh, proteins are classified we will see also how amino acid classified so uh, this is there in your syllabus classification of amino acid and protein okay so proteins they present all over the body so they have diverse nature of protein the diverse nature of protein makes them act as enzymes you know that enzymes are protein hormones their structural elements collagen best example antibodies immunoglobulins are class of proteins igg igm iga igd okay interferons receptors cell receptors transporters contractile units uh, myosin and all catalyst okay storage proteins ferritin for example all these are the functions of protein so let us classify protein okay let us uh, classify protein based on the uh, this one uh, function okay that is also called as functional classification of protein there are total 10 so so this particular black slide is tells about functional classification of protein tells about functional classification of protein and this is very important question exam 5 marks functional classification of protein so you can make tabular column and start writing so functional classification protein says catalyzed catalytic protein hexokinase pepsin they catalyze the reaction hexokinase okay glucokinase and hexokinase present in the tissue they catalyze the conversion of glycogen to glucose okay or pepsin present in the in the digestion of protein structural protein as keratin keratin of hair sorry and nail also collagen of bones and tendons example for structural protein third one is contractile protein which is required for muscle contraction actin and myosin this may be you are going to study in physiology actin and myosin then transport protein hemoglobin for the transport of oxygen is the best example heme and globulin hemoglobin is required for the transport of oxygen it is a compound chromoprotein hemoglobin is a compound chromoprotein okay is a compound chromoprotein so transport protein best example is hemoglobin also transferrin for the transport of iron okay so that is the four cl- uh, classes of functional classes of protein fifth one is membrane transport protein sodium potassium atpase glucose transporter across the cell is the example next is hormonal protein mainly regulatory hormone insulin is a protein so if you take insulin directly orally it get digested because insulin is protein even growth hormones okay uh, hormones all uh, peptide hormones are protein there are two types of hormone steroid hormone and peptide hormone so insulin is a peptide hormone so it is protein so harm uh, these proteins also uh, hormone the act as hormone example best example is insulin okay insulin is the best example okay storage protein ferritin for the storage of iron okay ferritin is for storage of iron is a storage protein so protective function defense mechanism mainly what are those immunoglobulins as i told before antibodies immunoglobulins immunoglobulins are class of Uh, 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 proteins uh, class of pro- uh, antibodies which involved in antigen antibody uh, reactions they are class of proteins igg igm and all so protective function or in the defensive mechanism okay uh, ninth one is clotting protein mainly fibrinogen prothrombin okay which is required for coagulation of blood 
clotting protein example fibrinogen and prothrombin receptor protein last one hormone receptors there are various hormone receptors present in the cell membrane is example okay let us uh, repeat in brief so functional classification catalytic protein hexokinase structural protein keratin of hair contractile actin myosin we can give example transport hemoglobin for the transport of oxygen membrane transport protein glucose transporter hormone insulin is the example storage protein ferritin required for the storage of iron protective protein is immunoglobulins class of proteins required for defense mechanism clotting protein prothrombin is the best example receptor uh, various hormone receptor present in the cell membrane okay so this is the 10 classification of protein based on the function or functional classification of protein now let us see classification based on the shape okay before functional classification total 10 are there now classification based on the shape globular round or oval okay round oval shape fibrous is elongated so globular proteins also there fibrous is elongated proteins Spherical or oval means globular. Example, best example is albumin, okay. Globulin, myoglobulin, which is present in the blood, okay. So, because of the shape, globular protein is more water soluble than fibrous protein. So, fibrous, they are elongated shape, collagen is the best example, elastin, fibrinogen, okay. So, based on the shape, globular and fibrous, okay. So, uh, classification of protein based on composition and solubility. So, we, what are the types of uh, proteins we have seen before? B functional classification, there are 10. Now, based on the shape, okay, globular and fibrous. Example where globular is albumin is the best example. Globulin, albumin and globulin, fibrous, collagen is the best example. Next, classification of protein based on composition and solubility. Okay, simple protein, there are conjugated and derived. This is the third classification. Okay, third classification. Okay, simple, conjugated and derived. Okay. So, simple protein, they contain only amino acids. Okay, they contain only amino acids. Linked by peptide bomb bond okay so sometimes they contain small quantity of other substance so they are subclassified into globular again fibrous so globular protein spherical and oval in shape this is another type of classification that is all okay this is another type of classification that is it so globular proteins they are spherical or oval in shape okay so Albumin soluble in water under globular albumin is there soluble in water and coagulated by heat serum albumin example ova albumin means egg albumin globulin serum globulin is the example so under globulin albumin globulin protamin is there they are soluble in water and not coagulated by heat sperm protein is a protamin prolamins they are insoluble in water and soluble in alcohol zine of corn okay and uh, gliadin of wheat it is a cereal okay so globular albumin globulin protamin prolamin glutelin okay which is present in the rice orizin orize sativa is the name of the rice rice so orizin oriz sorry orizin is glutenin okay so, one more is glutenin of wheat. Okay. These are the example for simple uh, protein. Okay. So, next fibrous protein, they are fiber like in shape and are not digested. Uh, they are not digestible, so insoluble in water. Okay. So, collagen is example for fibrous pro protein, under shape also we discussed it, same thing. So, most abundant protein in the body, collagen required for the structure, okay, collagen, most abundant protein in the body. Elastin, it 
refers elasticity and extensibility to uh, to arteries and tendons that, that where they are present uh, there is elastin is present in uh, arteries and tendons that is why there is elasticity and their uh, extensibility property then fibrillin fibronectin and laminin fibrillin is located in micro fibrils okay uh, next keratin mostly seen in hair and keratin's nail okay so uh, these are the some of the uh, examples for fibrous protein so i repeat just functional classification there are 10 okay we have seen already two times based on the shape globular and fibrous globular protein album uh, the albumin globulin fibrous collagen elastin and example so classification of protein based on the composition and solubility simple protein conjugated and derived simple protein means it mo they mostly contain amino acid and small amount quantity of other substance under simple again globular comes so no confusion so globular protein four we can say albumin globulin protamin prolamins and glutenins so fibrous fiber like shape collagen abundant protein elastin artery sentin down fibrillin fibronectin and laminin keratin present in the hair or nail okay so uh, that is it we stop here we will continue the classification of protein in the next class